Welcome to my channel and my first video. Today we are going to talk about double coated dogs and the dangers of shaving and what tools you can use to get rid of that dead undercoat. What are some of the most common breeds that have an undercoat? We have Labrador, Golden Retrievers, German Shepherds, Huskies, Pugs, Chihuahuas, Pomeranians, Beagles, Basset Hounds, Pit Bulls, Rottweilers, Chow Chows, and Australian Shepherds, and many more, but you get my point. So, what is a double coat? A double coat consists of two layers. A primary guard long top coat, which protects the skin from the sun and is water resistant and a secondary undercoat which lies underneath the primary coat. The undercoat acts as an insulating system that if taken care of properly can, take, can keep a dog warm in the winter and cool in the summer. A double coated dog needs to be brushed often enough to get rid of dead undercoat but not so much that it is stripped completely off causing a variety of issues. Here are some diagrams to show you of what I'm talking about. In the middle diagram, you can see there is no undercoat. The one to the left is an impacted undercoat, meaning there is too much of it. And the one to the right is a shaved off impacted undercoat. As you can see, there is still a lot of undercoat there. It's just shaved off. That brings me to my next topic of dangers of shaving a double coated dog. Sometimes in the grooming salon, we face ourselves with severely impacted double coat. And that's when a serious conversation between the owner and the groomer needs to take place. Some groomers' immediate reaction is to shave it all off, knowing the impact it will have on the overall health of the dog. While others will agree to brush out the coat even if it takes hours and hours and can possibly hurt the skin or ultimately traumatize the poor dog. Each groomer is different and we run our business in a certain manner that not everyone agrees with. But my main goal is not to, to blame or shame anyone but to rather inform and educate the owners so that they brush at home or go and get it done professionally so that the pet is not put in a situation where its health is compromised because ultimately that's that's what all groomers look for in the end is the well-being of a pet so with that being said the dangers of shaving a double coated dog are alopecia exposure to allergies skin damage skin cancer patchiness when the hair grows back and it can grow back too coarse or too fluffy, changing the texture and color of the coat. Overall, I just think it's just too risky. Now, I'm not saying that all of these things are going to happen if you shave that dog all at once, but the pet skin is susceptible to any of these things happening. So here are some pictures to show of what I'm talking about. Alright, so we're going to talk about some tools that can be used to get rid of dead undercoat. But what do I mean by dead undercoat? So the primary and secondary hair we talked about earlier goes through three growth stages as do we humans. Anagen being the first growth phase in which it has blood supply and, is the, and the hair follicle is given nutrients stimulating growth. Catagen is a transition phase where the hair follicle reaches maximum length and separates from the blood supply, meaning it no longer receives nutrients for growth. Finally, there is telogen, which is the resting phase. 
this hair is this hair follicle is basically just sitting there doing nothing but just waiting to fall out this is dead hair or fur now back to the tools you can use the coat king this tool comes in a variety of widths depending on the size of the dog It also comes in a wider blade distance or a closer blade distance. The Furminator. It comes for short hair, long hair, even for cats. Also in a variety of sizes and colors. Brakes. They come in spinning teeth and various sizes. But I would recommend it best for long hair. Rubber brushes all shapes, sizes, colors. It's usually best for short haired breeds. Bathing systems are excellent way to expel impacted undercoats, although it does use a lot of water. Force dryers. You can also assist sorry, force dryers can also assist in getting rid of dead undercoat without the workout of using tools. However, not all dogs love the force dryer. I recommend putting in some cotton balls in their ears to muff out the sound. As well, you should use earmuffs yourself. So, that's all for this video. Stay tuned for more content. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and if you have any more tips and tricks to how to de-shed your dog, let me know in the comments. Bye.